When presenting, you want to avoid what I call death by bullet point. I know, I know, I know, it might be corny, but the reality is a lot of people use excessive bullet points as a visual aid. As a presenter, you always have to understand, and I must repeat this throughout the course so it really gets ingrained in your mind, that your visual aids are not the presenter, you are, right? So never confuse what you're using as a visual aid becoming presenting the information that you're supposed to be presenting, right? So always remember, I'm presenting the information, any type of visual aid that I'm using is helping me present the information. So death by bullet points simply means using way too many bullet points per slide. Have you ever seen this? You probably have ever seen this. Someone says, okay, here are some of the 25 things that I've learned and there's 25 bullet points and they're all like font size eight. You can't even read it. If you're gonna be covering material that has a lot of different points or a lot of different compartments or segments to your presentation, have multiple slides. If you study great presenters, you'll see that often enough they use the most minimalistic visual aid that they can that can be maybe powerful, colorful, but that doesn't overwhelm what they're saying. Let's use for a case study, for example, a company like Apple. Apple, whenever they're launching a new product, whether it might be the iPhone, the iPad, iWatch, whatever a new product that they're bringing to the market, you'll see that whenever somebody's coming to do the presentation, they don't want that any visual aid that they're using to be able to eclipse what message that they're trying to bring. Steve Jobs was very famous for many of his uh, Apple presentation for wearing a black uh, shirt and a simple jeans just to kind of like, you know, take a little bit less distraction from what he was actually gonna talk about. Regardless of what, you know, the setting in which you are or the audience that is expecting you, if you're gonna be using a visual aid, make sure that you don't distract your audience by excessive bullet points. Points. Sometimes one of the things that I do, if I really need to be reading things and have an idea what comes before another, I print out my PowerPoint slide. It gives me an idea of the orders of all my slides so I know what information comes with another. Here is a good rule of thumb. If you're gonna be putting more than one bullet point per slide, the maximum that you wanna have is anywhere between five to seven bullet points. Anything above seven bullet points, then it becomes way too small for the audience to see it's way too far. Personally, I like to stick between four and five because then the pretty big fonts, the pretty bold, people can see them from far and it just looks nicer. The moment you start having 10, 15, 20 bullet points in one particular side, excessive bullet point. So you want to avoid that. Always remember, your visual aid is not the one presenting. You are presenting the information. The aid is only there to do exactly what it's called, to come and help you present.